Hi friends, it's Ruth from the Wilmot Public Library. So spring is here and some of you may have noticed that the birds outside are collecting things. They're collecting things that aren't food. I saw one grab some grass and another one take off with a small stick. What are they doing with all these things? Do you think they're helping me clean up my yard? Nah, probably not. Birds are very helpful, but not in that kind of way. I think they are gathering things to build a nest. And if we carefully look around our neighborhoods, maybe we'll spot some. If you look up, I see one on the side of the building. And there's a robin sitting in it too. And here's a morning dove nest. Nests are pretty interesting, and birds use all sorts of things that they find on the ground to build them. Closely, you can see there's a whole bunch of ribbon in there that they put into their nest. It is really exciting to find nests outside, but when you see a nest, you need to be careful and not get too close and not stay too long. We don't want to scare away the birds so that they can't take care of their eggs and their chicks. Also, it's very important that we don't touch anything around the nest. Some birds use things like sticks and twigs to build the outside of their nests, and they'll even stick them together with mud or spider webs, and then they usually get something softer for the inside, like some grass or some feathers or even some leaves. Today, I thought it'd be fun to pretend to be a bird and to build some bird nests of our own. Let's go. My helper Griffin is going to talk about the different nests that we made. So this one was a combination of sticks, pine needles, and dried daffodils. It doesn't have any mint like the other two, but it's the same size of one. Great. This one is made out of mint. Dandelions, dry tulip petals, and sticks. This one is the same size as the other one. The next one is bigger. This one is made out of mint, violet petals, dry grass, sticks, and pieces of wood. Maybe you'd like to make a nest too. You can make tiny ones and fill them with flowers or make a great big one that you could fit inside. There's lots of different possibilities and lots of materials you can use to make them. I hope you have fun exploring and building. Have a great day.